Should have been prepared for it. It's fine. This game is so good. This is a purest speed game. doing. I mean, we never find King. It's true, the life of Hiryu is really rough in this game. Reminder that if you aren't a coward, uh, you can do that on the first zip up. Let's not, let's not beep it this time. It's this jump, it's so treacherous. Alright, so, uh, Glacier Wolf. Here comes the big new skip that was found. And final boss. Yeah, 
Hey, sub five. Really bad time still, but sub five. And my NES doesn't flicker anymore, and I'm super happy about that. Now that I don't have, like, super flickery NES capture, I'm going to let the credits play out. Then I don't know. Let's do a, a Mario World run before I kill it for the night. Yeah, it, I mean... There were a couple of mistakes when they programmed this game. Like, they just made a, a couple of errors. Nothing big, you know. It's not like you can just ignore geometry or anything. What's my NES signal path? Okay, so I've got an RGB modded NES that outputs uh, RGB over SCART, which goes to a Shinybo SB5520, uh, uh, which is a SCART matrix switcher. Uh, that outputs to my PVM, which is what I'm playing on, and it outputs to my OSSC. The OSSC, the, the reason that it was flickering before is because uh, it uh, slaves to the uh, signal that it's getting. It doesn't have its own frame buffer. So, uh, it was outputting a 60.08 hertz, uh, on average, signal, which wasn't always 60.08 hertz over the HDMI path that it's getting, which goes to the capture device that I'm using. But the reason that the NES flickers and the SNES doesn't is that the 60.08 is steady on the SNES, but it looks like it wanders between 60.06 and 60.10. Uh, coming out of the, the NES. Which led to that wonderful, flashy, seizure-inducing crap that uh, that I, I displayed only very briefly, uh, since I didn't want to actually give anybody any seizures. I, I stopped playing NES games pretty quickly once I realized what the problem was. But now, now we've got it going through uh, a new DVD-O iScan VP50, which is doing voodoo? to it. Uh, okay, so uh, Rocket, the way that uh, most people... So, uh, what you're talking about here is called splits. So, I've got, of course, just three splits for this. Anyone can and Strider for the three levels that I play. Um, but, you know, it, it's one of those things that's customizable. You can make as many or as few as you want. Uh, personally, yes, I use a foot pedal. I find it much easier to use a foot pedal to keep track of everything that's going on. Um, that way I don't have to, like, reach over and hit my keyboard and if I'm playing a video game that uses a keyboard, I don't have to worry about that. 